Hey guys, welcome to part 6. In this video we'll be doing the recoil for our weapon. So let's start by opening our script. Let's go to our weapon controller. And let's create a couple of variables here. Let's start with... Let's just comment here so we are more organized. Let's create a float called recoil intensity counter counter that starts at zero and a recoil max intensity. Let's say for now uh, twenty-five as a default. Now let's scroll down. So if we are not shooting, we we want our recoil to decrease, right? So if recoil intensity counter is less than zero, recoil intensity counter equals zero, else re recoil intensity counter minus minus. So the recoil decreases if we are not shooting back to zero and let's create let's create a new function let's place it let's place it here a vector to recoil and inside here we'll be calculating the offset for our request so let me just fix this, capital R. Okay, so let's start by doing recoil intensity counter plus plus. If recoil intensity count intensity, why well, it's not writing? Intensity counter is greater than recoil max intensity. Then the recoil intensity counter is equal to recoil max intensity. And float x offset is equal to random dot range zero recoil intensity counter. So this will give us a random value between 0 and our uh, recoil counter for the x-axis. Let's do the same for the y. Now, because this is only positive values, the recoil will go only up and right, and we don't want that. We want it to go from left to right. So let's do an if random dot range zero f one f less or equal than zero point five. Then we invert the x offset. So we'll invert the x half of the times, so it goes from left to right. We won't be doing for the Y because I don't think that's good. Most of the games the recoil only goes up, it never goes down. If you want, you can just do the same for the... You do another if random dot range 0f on f let's see equal 0.5f and you do the same but for the for the Y. It's up to you if you want it. I will not be using it. Okay, let's move on. Um, float x equals, we have it up here, we can just copy. Where is it? Here it is. 
This will give us the screen, the center of the screen. Uh, and now we just need to return new vector2 x and y. We just need to change it here because it's the center of the screen plus our offset. times let's say one this will be a variable later let's do the same here plus y offset times one yeah let's it's a float not an int like so, and then we return the C and Y, that's perfect. Now let's go to our recast, we don't need this anymore. And here we call our recoil function that returns all our value. We don't need the new vector 2, it's, it already returns a vector 2. And that looks fine. Let's go back to Unity and let's try it out. Before we play the game, let me just create a wall so we can see better our recoil. Let me move it here and increase it. Say 10, yeah, like so. And let's try it out. You can see it's spreading, but it's not too much, so we need to increase the value. So let's go up here, let's say the max recoil, let's say 50. And down here, the offsets, let's say two. Let's try it now. You can see we start to get a recoil. You can increase it or decrease it. It's it's up to you how much you want it. Let's say something like four. It's a nice pattern. As you can see, they only go up because I didn't need to for the y axis. Let's do the offset as a variable up here. Let's create two. Serializable field, float, recoil, x, offset, and another serializable field, float. Recoil Y offset. And now we can change it on the inspector. Let's create a, a bool, just if you want to. Serializable field uh, bool invert Y equals false. And let's use it on here on our. Yeah, right here. So let's uncomment this. If invert y, we run this inside. Yeah, I wrote it wrong. Now, if you in, in the inspector, let's select our player. M4, if you tick the invert y, by the way, set the offset to, let's say, 4. Now you can see that the bullets also go down. 
I will deactivate it because I don't like it. And we can see that recoil goes back down. Let me spray. And then I stop. And then it goes back to normal. So there you go, that's how we create a quick and simple recoil system. Uh, if you want to me to keep this series, let me know. I don't know if I should continue it or start a new one. So if you have any, any ideas, let me know. You can leave the comments down below or join our Discord. I will leave the link in the description and I'll see you on the next video.